you're watching Monty TV, I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Clay Alexander. He's the founder and CEO of Ember, a maker of drinkware and dishware that can be thermally controlled. Okay, this is a very cool product that started with eggs. Yes, it did. Tell me about that. <laughs> so, I, was, I love how you start off with that. I was uh, eating scrambled eggs, talking to my wife in my kitchen in 2009. I had just sold my light bulb to GE, so I had come off of a couple years of thermal science and engineering. So I had kind of thermal science on my mind. I was eating my eggs. I get about halfway through my eggs. My eggs get cold on my plate. And I'm looking down and I'm thinking, okay, this is the 21st century. Why are my eggs getting cold on my, on my dinner plate? That's a thought most people have. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I started strapping RC car batteries and temperature control circuitry to my wife's dinner plates. As one does. As one does. I've been an inventor since birth, right here. Um, and so, so I started eating my meals off of this like dinner plate that I made, which is the world's first self-heated dinner plate. And having like the first bite to the last bite being like literally perfect was like amazing. And I thought, holy crap, like I could put this technology into coffee mugs, soup bowls, baby bottles, chafing dishes. And my mind started racing, so I started filing patents all over the world to cover the technology. And then how did you make the leap? Because it's one thing to be eating eggs on a warm plate to go to a coffee mug. Yeah, so actually our next major product launch is in the dinnerware area. So just to give you a hint. So we are circling back to that original invention. But I felt like, okay, what's the best way to launch this concept of temperature control to the masses? And I thought, gosh, 84% or something like that drink coffee like every day in the US, right? So that's a massive market. And one of the biggest pain points about coffee is when it gets lukewarm or cold. And so I thought, gosh, if we could embed our temperature control technology into a coffee mug first, that it would just be widely adopted. And then from there, it's easier to transition to the dinner plates and the baby bottles and such. The technology is amazing, and certainly it's great to keep your coffee warm, but the price point is a little high if someone's looking to invest in a thermal mug. I mean, you can get one for $10. Why would you spend over $100? Right, so we launched with this. This is, this is our flagship product, which is the world's first uh, temperature controlled uh, travel mug, which you can change the temperature on the dial. So it's that premium product with that premium feel. It's kind of like the, the Tesla business model where you launch with the most premium model first. And then to get that price down for the masses, we launched this in November with Starbucks in uh, 4,600 stores. We launched this at a $79 price point, which is more attainable, but it has the same technology but embedded in here. So with this, you just pour your coffee or tea in and it just knows that it's in there and it starts heating. You don't have to turn on any buttons or anything, it's just like magic. How are you going to really capitalize on the dinner plate, keeping it warm, because that will change restaurants? That's right. Perfect question. So I plan to launch the dinner plates in the high-end Michelin star restaurants first, so that we can create that buzz and we get the top chefs in the world all about it. They're sitting there prepping all day long. They go to the farmer's market in the morning, they get the ingredients, they're making these perfect meals, and they're plating them and boom, 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 they get out to the table. You're halfway through the meal, it drops its temp, and then it, it depletes from there. So our technology can take the chef's vision and make it perfect all the way to the last bite. So we'll launch in the high-end restaurants, and then we come down into the medium-range restaurant chains like the Ruth's Chris and such, and then we go down into residential and consumer. Because of all the patents and your technology, is there anyone else who can do this also, or it's all yours? It's all mine. I, I, I'm, I can honestly say that. I started filing patents in 2009. Uh, I, I self-funded the company for the first five years and just literally R&D and filing patents all over the world, covering the concept of embedding temperature control in all forms of drinkware and dishware.